what's up guys welcome back to the channel we got some easy red 2 content here for you today we're doing something a little different than uh, normal maps and workshops and campaigns and all that taking a look at the map editor and uh, this is a custom map that I've been creating for a while now and uh, some of it's a little placeholder because uh, I'm waiting on the Normandy DLC to come out hopefully later this year we'll get some new uh, props that will fit this setting a little better uh, but what I'm working on here is a kind of an homage, a recreation of a Company of Heroes map called Leon. That was one of my favorites back in the day. I don't know if you ever played Company of Heroes 1. But this particular skirmish map uh, was was really good. It was just really a, a slog fest. You, you had these three bridges in the middle. And uh, the Americans and the, the Germans just, you know, beat each other to a pulp across these bridges and it was a lot of fun playing with friends and uh, I always wanted to play Company of Heroes from a first person perspective and uh, you know Easy Red 2 kind of gives you a little bit of that feeling and uh, so I just kind of wanted to dip my toes in it and see see what, what I could come up with and I haven't used the map editor in a while I've released one map on the workshop so far and um, just kind of wanted to get back into it and check it out so it's, it's decently far along as you can see kind of in the distance there's there's still some some stuff I got to do as far as the uh, the backgrounds and sceneries and stuff but uh, what we've got here we've got the Americans that spawn back here at this farm with the infantry and over here they got some uh, armored units that come in from this side and uh, as we look through the different phases the uh, Germans are going to be putting up resistance at this kind of headquarters first and the battle will shift over this way to the train station and then from that point the Americans are going to try to come across these two bridges and we'll see how this goes I've only done a little bit of play testing but it's working pretty well so far you end up with some some interesting shifts in the battle when you move from left to right and then forward like that um, and then I haven't done anything past that uh, phase three is kind of where the testing is stopped but just wanted to play through a little bit and show you uh, what it looks like and kind of talk through some of my thoughts uh, as far as testing goes and if you're you know a map maker yourself maybe uh, maybe this will help you or inspire you to kind of get in and, and work on your stuff as well I love the the custom content scene for this game is really fun uh, it gives a lot of life to it I've always been involved in the mod communities and a lot of different games and I uh, just kind of, I, lo I love seeing what other people can can come up with. Uh, yeah, so let's let's uh, just jump in and, and see how this this plays out. Let me just save it here. Got it. And I'm just gonna play as a regular old rifleman. Because I kind of want to see how the AI is acting, you know, without me directing them. So that squad looks like they're advancing all right. This one, I don't know, maybe. So when you're setting up spawns, maybe you know or don't know, you can um, give them a little bit of a direction with a waypoint uh, to, to hit on their way to the objective. And so that's way, that way you can set up, you know, if you want a squad to start out by flanking to the right first or something. And so that didn't work terribly, but I don't really like how they, they kind of end up having to go up standing on these hedgerows. But we'll see. It would be nice if these guys would get down. This is my squad, isn't it? Yeah. All right, let's move. So there's the building we're trying to hit. Oh, we already got our... Like our armored car is heading up there already. I'm under fire. All right, let's get up there. I'm gonna um, sorry, I had to turn the volume down a little bit. That was really loud. The game volume. To try to take a look yeah I set up the Germans to try to come back to the left and flank a little bit didn't want 
wanted to be too easy. You know, I'm trying to simulate the idea of, of the Americans advancing this way, but the Germans trying to put together a little bit of a counterattack to the left. Maybe something you got to watch out for. I don't know, maybe too hard. We'll see. But at this phase, the Americans have armor and the Germans do not, so that may be enough to sort of tip the balance back. Oh, looks like we actually already captured, so I guess I was talking over that. Yeah, we already captured that point, so I'll probably that probably happened a little too fast. We'll just double check and see. Oh, maybe that's why the Germans moved over there so fast. I might be might be mistaken how I set those spawns up. I can see him over there though, so let's try to soften him up a bit. Might be nice for the uh, Americans to have a machine gun crew. That's something I'll probably need to add in. Even you know, even just a single machine gun crew, they can help lay down some fire. Because man, it makes such a difference. Like if you move up and capture uh, one of the Germans MG42s, you can just wipe them out so fast. These guys look like they're all getting kind of bogged down under the fire, but that's okay. They're still advancing. That's the important thing. With all these fence posts, it's hard to see what's over there. It's hard to get moved up and see what's happening. I'm under fire. It's a pretty heavy fire over there. What is that? Oh yeah, I added um, artillery. That's what it was. I forgot in this this last revision, I added some artillery for the Americans. Get up, and capture. I don't know if I hit anybody with that, but oh shoot, he got me. Better get bandaged up. Got at least one of them. There's another there, though. No. Right, he's down. Stills. Oh, man. I'm out of bandages. That's not good. Fortunately, the inventory system in this game still is one of my favorite features. Man, how'd that guy run right through? Oh, come on. That's some friendly fire right there, I think. Who's still here? Oh, we got a BAR guy. That's good. I'm gonna need to patch myself up, though. Stop the bleeding. Take some of that. Still haven't quite captured that point, have we? we have a little bit of the map there. Doesn't show much, just kind of shows the uh, ground. I can get up there without them seeing me. Oof. Maybe I can get around to the left here. Drop my ammo. They try to get her. We got a lot of guys over there. I know the 
there's some enemies over there. I just can't quite see them. There we go. All right, now it's time to get across the bridge, I think. Like the Germans are retreating back to the other point. Oh yeah, so eventually I'll flush in kind of the horizon out here with some more window dressing. Leon was a pretty big city, I think, and wanted to look pretty good. Oh, so the Germans firing their anti-tank at us. That's good. So yeah, if you notice, I got some of the Stalingrad props in here because the. Uh, you know, the Normandy DLC hopefully will come with a lot of cool new buildings that'll fit the, the uh, you know, the Western European side, like France and some of the other countries over that direction. So I'll, I'll come back through and replace all these Russian buildings with the, the French ones. Let's get some smoke out there and hide the advance. Yeah, it seems like I'll probably need a increase the Germans defenses here because this is way too soft shouldn't be this easy to get across the bridge but now we're into this into this rubble filled area this should be pretty good here's all oh, that there's the tank Not gonna be much use here with the rifle He's going to kill us all. <laughs> I only thought the bridge was too easy. Now I see I was mistaken. Where's that? Uh, where's the any tank artillery over here? I think it's over this way. Be careful. Oh. There's another tank. Okay. I'll just try to pick these guys off over here from the safety of my house. Switch to single fire. I know I gave the uh, Americans some anti-tank equipment, but, oh shoot, I don't think this guy has any at all, no. Grenade. Like a little frag grenade's probably not going to do much, but might as well throw it. Let's get up here. Maybe I can get around, find something left by one of the other soldiers. Doesn't look like they have anything. There's a sniper. Oh, somebody's shooting at me, but I don't see him. Oh, there they are. Got him. This guy, this is the sniper, I think. Yeah. I need that bipod, but I'm going to take his pistol just in case. Grab some bandages while I'm at it. I guess I am sitting out here in the open a little bit. I wonder if I can... Can I take inventory off of this guy? There we go. Let's see what has he got. Smoke grenade. Better than nothing. Might at least keep me safe a little bit. As I dig through these bodies. 
Anybody here? That's just a Thompson guy. Shoot. I think I am the only one left alive. Oh, this is not good. This is what I was wanting. I was wanting the Germans to kind of take refuge in these buildings over there, which seems like they are doing. Oof. All right, I gotta drop, drop another ammo. Uh, oh, I don't think I have any more. Dang it, did I leave it behind? I think I left it back there. I have to respawn as any tank. Ooh. I think I got torn up. All right. Let's come in as any tank and see if we can do something. Well, I guess I can't because nobody else is here. Oh, well, this is bad. some of these guys out but while the tanks are still there we're not gonna make any progress at least I'm tearing up the infantry though for what it's worth This is just regular old infantry here, so let me just what we got here. This is just a radio guy. I don't think any of these Germans have it. Yeah, I must have forgotten. I must have forgotten the anti-tank in this uh, phase. All right. They must be out of ammo now. <laughs> All right, come on. It'd be nice if you could uh, climb up and toss a grenade in the top. Or uh, shoot. Somebody got, oh God, who's that? Oh, somehow we survived all that by not actually doing much but anyway there you go guys there's there's a quick look at how i test these maps and um you know it gives you an idea of if, if you're playing through to kind of see what your ai soldiers are doing and what they're not doing and you want to see uh you know the flow of the battle go one way to the next direction and back and forth so uh more testing of course will be done and i get to Take out those placeholders at some point in the future, but uh, it's something different to show you today. And uh, you know, if you're making maps out there, I'd love to see uh, if you got suggestions from the workshop too. We'll do some of those next time. Uh, but yeah, for now, I just want to say thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.